Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Caitlin, your number one girls across YouTuber. And this video, it has been requested so, 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 so much. Today, I'm doing tryout tips. So, a ton of people have contacted me, DM'd me, commented on my videos saying that they want to see a video about tips for um, lacrosse tryouts and, you know, just basically how to go into it. Um, you know, obviously I'm not a coach, so it's not going to be from a coach's perspective. So I don't know what your coach will want, but I'm just going to try to talk from my experience um, going to high school tryouts and just, yeah, what I think you should do. So, number one, I would definitely recommend to get there early. So, at least where I go, um, everybody gets to practice early. You want to... You want to make a good impression, you want to be there on time, ready to go as the coach walks in the door. Really help make you look more prepared. Um, if you have your goggles on, mouth guard ready to pop in. Um, and if you're just there on time, ready to go. I try to get there at least 15 minutes early for every practice and games, you know, whatever the coach recommends. Um, I get, try to get there. 15, 20 minutes earlier than they say to get my cleats on, goggles on, everything ready to go. The second thing I recommend is to have a really positive attitude and be respectful. I really recommend you don't be talking on the sidelines. You want to be attentive to the to the coach and really just listen to what they say. Um, be respectful. You know, even if you know the coach. Um, you still have to treat them as a coach, as an adult. So, especially in tryouts, you want to be extremely respectful and really attentive um, because you can have a really good player, but if they don't have personality to match. <laughs> okay, the third tip I recommend is really go above and beyond. You don't want to be lazy and just if if the coach asks you to take out the cage or put it away, I would volunteer to do it. Um, I know it's kind of a pain to carry the goals around, but I think the coaches really notice the people that do go above and beyond to get the field set up, get um, practice tryouts going. Uh, and I think that's really something that would make you stand out to a coach. So you pick up balls, cones, whatever it is, just volunteer right to do it that will really stand out to a coach. The next tip I recommend at tryouts is to, I would always just try to have a smile on your face, you know. You, you could be having a bad day, but don't let that carry into your tryout because it'll make you perform worse. It'll make you be less attractive to a coach. I know I just came back from lacrosse camp and one big thing they talked about when recruiting um, for their college team I mean, obviously, athleticism is very important, but they also um, really care about a uh, player's personality, and they don't want players with egos. They call them locker room, locker room players, the ones that kind of are really good, really talented, but they just, their ego is a bit too much. Um, they don't really care about the team, they only care about themselves. Um, so just tr really try to avoid that, be a team player. I know it's really important to a lot of people. The next tip I recommend is don't be a ball hog. Um, obviously you need, you need to have the ball sometimes because you gotta show them, you know, your skill. And But when you don't pass to anyone else, and you're kind of just in it for the goals and the, like the popularity, the fame, of scoring a lot or just having the ball in your stick the whole time especially when people are wide open you know don't be afraid to pass to them because it's aggravating to other players and other coaches when you see an opportunity that could be such a great play and the person just tries to carry in the ball themselves and gets trapped um, so yeah be really really focused on being a team player being positive attitude getting there early um, and the rest will fall into place obviously um, practice your skills um, and yeah the rest will fall into place I think so hope you enjoyed my tryout tips video let me know if this helped you down below I know a lot of people have contacted me saying that um, I helped them 
um, get into lacrosse, and that's just is such a good feeling, and I'm so happy to hear that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video, and check out this fan art somebody sent me. It's so cool. It looks just like me. They drew me. They drew a picture of me. Look at that. That looks just like me. It looks like a black and white picture of me. So yeah, that's up here on the fan art wall. If you want to be on the fan art wall, just DM me pictures that you drew or anything on Instagram and I will hang it up and you'll see it in the background of my videos. Videos to come, I'm going to be doing some goalie tips videos, um, a tour of my lacrosse stick, and a guy is sending me a custom wooden engraved shaft that I'm going to be doing an unboxing, a review of. So stay tuned for that video because that's going to be really, really awesome. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.